All right, people. Git role. AI that looks at GitHub profiles instead of doing an interview. Okay, okay, okay. This seems, I can already immediately tell you this sounds awful. Uh, this GitHub tool is much more useful than giving a CV. I can't even scroll. Okay, I'm back. We're back. Apparently, apparently Reddit just wanted to like, I don't know what Reddit was doing there. This GitHub tool is much more useful than giving a CV. Okay. I'll just open that up. This GitHub tool is a game changer. Git Roll helps you analyze GitHub profiles, saving you heaps of time as an interviewer. Instead of tedious tasks of scrolling through someone GitHub's profiles, Git Roll does the hard work for you, providing an in-depth look at the candidate's skills in no time flat. A deep dive into code quality. This feature is a dream come true for a tech geeks like myself. Git Roll doesn't spot, let's see, Git Roll doesn't just spot potential bugs or vulnerabilities. It also pre appreciates the beautiful, the beauty of tasteful code. I wonder if da Daniel Stenberg has any thoughts. The guy, you know, remember the guy that created Curl? I wonder if he has any thoughts about how LLMs are really good at um, spotting security security flaws. Remember? Remember that whole problem that security is happening right now where there's just a nonstop flow of really terrible, really awful security reports being reported over and over and over again? And then even when the person goes, hey, this isn't real. What are you doing? They go... Well, certainly, sir. And then they just start hallucinating code. You know what I can't wait? You know what like I'm the most excited about, I think, ever? Is that I would love to make sure that the next time I get hired somewhere, I get an AI to deep dive my profile. Because that would be good. AI is good at summarizing, I feel. I feel you're wrong. I think sometimes AIs are good at summarizing. Would you put your job on the line on an AI summarizing the tasteful of your code. Would you want would you would you want an interview to be uh would to be put on that? Yeah, the answer should be no. The answer should genuinely be no here. It's like having a, a sommelier for code. <laughs> for those that don't know, like a sommelier is a uh, is is a uh, is like a very fancy person that ha that has this special genetic gift that can actually taste the differences in wine. Like I can't taste differences in wine. I can tell when wines are taste better and worse. Okay. I'm not a, like, I am not a sommelier. You know what I mean? I'm just not. Accessing a coder skill. Git Roll evaluates a coder skills based on their repositories, giving more weight to recent work. This way, you can easily gauge the candidate's skill, which makes preparing for an interview a breeze. Insights into language proficiency and open source contributions. Okay, so there is one thing I will say that an AI could be good at. Okay, let me, hey, you know what? I, I'm willing to not have a full Doomer, uh, Doomer look at this stuff. Uh, if this could only be used... If I had five minutes before an interview and I wanted to find a couple things to talk about, if I could have some AI be like, okay, here's the GitHub profile, give me a few things to talk about, I would do that. Evaluate mine. Oh, we will evaluate mine, okay? We're going to evaluate mine hard, okay? Um, the problem is, is that this won't be used, but that's a, what's bad about that? Hit me with why. You can't say that that's already bad. If you are given a candidate to interview that day, and you just wanted the, and you're there to just save time. What's wrong with saying, "Hey, give me a give me a summarization, uh, su summarizing really quick of what what they've worked on recently," so I can just talk to them about things. So if you're an unprepared interviewer, you're always an under you're always an unprepared interviewer. A proper interviewer should know as little about their candidate as possible. The more you know, the more you already project. I would not like to look at someone's code that I'm interviewing. I'm gonna most certainly judge the shit out of them. I, and the thing is, is you could show me, you could show me my own code from six months ago and I wouldn't like them. Okay. Okay. Just saying, I don't know if it's really great interview in 10 minutes. Can you be there? Yeah. My boss. Yes. I've had, I've had very, I've had versions of this myself and that's fine. That's why I would ask him about that. Hey, okay. I think your GitHub profile has this, this, and this, uh, but you're unemployed. I'm unemployed now. Thanks TJ. Te technically TJ, I'm not unemployed right now. So suck on that. Uh, insight into the language proficiency and open source contribution. I think this is just crazy. Git roll gives you a peek into the coders familiarity with different programming languages and their contributions to open source projects. For example, I noticed my contribution to Facebook research, PyTorch 3D. Okay, well, let's find out about this dystopian tool. All right, here we go. All right, so how do I, how, how do, how do I do this? All right, let me just turn this off for a quick second. Let me just see my, let, let's just see me. Let me just have all of my stuff taken. All right, uh, read personal data, email addresses, and profile information only, read only. Okay, at least it doesn't have an excessive amount of stuff. Um, by the way, this man, this man literally has Charlie the Unicorn right here. Okay, so how do I see mine? My get roll. Dude, I'm tox. Dude, I'm top X percent in my region, top X percent in my school. Let's go. 
Let's go. Uh, apparently, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know some things. Um, I'm, I'm obviously number one in security and maintainability and reliability. Really poor in influence. If you go to global uh, GitHub follower uh, rankings, you will notice that I believe I'm 43 or 42. We just checked this like yesterday. Because uh, so, uh, someone asked me, because I, I still am just waiting for somebody to tell me what the point of followers are. There you go. I'm 41. Let's go. Killing it. I'm on the ninth ring of Vim, CEO of the startup. So there you go. So apparently my influence is just not that good. I'm still not good enough to have any influence, but damn. Influence is my worst one. Damn, behind Ben Awad. Yeah, I know. Uh, anyways, maintainability writes clean, easily readable, and maintainable code. TJ? Hey, TJ, how does that feel? My best quality is maintainable code. And yet it doesn't even know that I rage program on live on, on stream where I effectively ejaculate streams of thoughts into code. Think about that. Think about that. This AI, dude, influence issue. This AI is so off. This AI is off. This AI is terrible. I'm above 98% of people. Let's go. Let's go. Can you rate Jayatan? I wonder what Jayatan has. Okay. I, you know, I, you know, I'm pretty much, a, dude isn't reading the graph right. What am I not reading right? Well, what am I not reading right? The white is for average. Okay. Well, then what's my scores? Oh, my influence. Oh, damn. You're right. Yeah, my influence holds authority. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I am awesome. I got influenced like nobody's business. Hell yeah. Dude, look at that. Yeah, yeah, suck it. Yeah. Oh, the dark gray line. Oh, I can't even read that. Yeah, I am reading the graph. I'm reading the graph all wrong here. Oh, gosh. Hell yeah. Okay, you know what? You know what? I can tell. I can tell right away that this is completely wrong. You know how? Can you, can you tell why this is completely wrong? Can anyone here name one thing that's completely wrong about this graph? The primogen can. That's why. No, no, not because of that sentence. Are you ready for it? Are, are you ready for it? Yep, I see the two. I see people spotting it right now. Security. Apparently, the average person committing to GitHub writes some pretty secure code. They also write really reliable code, and they're mostly maintainable. I hate to tell you this. No. No's the answer, okay? It, no is the, the answer. Even more reason to make my lab repo private. <laughs> this is so wrong. This number should be inverted and slightly out the other direction. Okay, like, <laughs> what? How is that even possible? Okay, I, I definitely don't write secure code. Okay, like, I have, I'm under no illusions that I am somehow super secure that everything I do is really well thought through. Like, security is really hard. It is a vertical onto itself. And if you think you can just write secure code, you're a dumb dumb, right? You are a dumb dumb, okay? Uh, okay, but it also said, hold on. It also said that it can tell me, uh, uh, it, can, it can tell me how tasteful my code is. Where's my tasteful ranking? I wanna see, dude, I'm S tier, by the way. Boys, boys, we're S tier. Where's my tasteful ranking? Overview, languages, oh yeah. The fuck is read script? A lot of JavaScript, some TypeScript, Go, Rust, CMake, Lua, Zig, Elixir. What the hell is Rescript? Tech stacks, front end, UI development, Next.js, really? That much Next.js? Well, I didn't realize I uh, did that much Next.js, boys. Uh, this is actually a, this is actually news to me that I'm a Rescript Next.js person. I didn't even know that. As someone who's used Next.js once, because Theo showed it to me. UI testing, okay, more. Jest, yeah, I mean, okay, React. CSS styling, this is fair. WebSockets, I wrote, web, I have a WebSocket protocol. Okay, it, RESTful, just Mocha, Chai, Bootstrap, okay, back in. What do I got? Next.js. Again, I am shocked at how much Next.js I do. WebSocket, Express, App Development, RESTful, just API development, okay. Microservice designs, okay. Scaling, monitor and logging, embedded systems, IoT cloud platforms. What? When, when have I ever done IoT cloud platforms? What does this even mean? Microcontroller, okay, that's, that's, that's at least somewhat reasonable. DevOps. Log analysis, Pino, Grunt, 
This just shows how long I've been programming for. Okay, this is really just a better indication that I've been doing too much stuff, right? Machine learning. Unsupervised learning, hell yeah. Supervised learning, hell yeah. Reproducibility, hell yeah. Mobile apps. Okay, wow. Um, so I would just generally say that this is, uh, I, would, I would probably give this as 90% wrong. All right, what are my suppositories? What do I got? What's my top one? Kata machine? Okay, I mean, people really like that one. These are all fem ones. Yeah, these are all uh, front end masters. Yeah. Yeah, these are all front end masters ones. Okay, cool. I don't know what this is. This must be something that's going on with front end masters. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, anyways, uh, this is largely inaccurate. Uh, this is actually a horrible tool. Git roll is genuinely, if, if this, what we just got done reading here versus what we just got done seeing, I would say that this is a, an, an absolute L. Not even like a sort of L, not even a kind of L, like we're talking like an L's L, okay? Like for the last two to three years, I have done nothing but pretty much make CLI tools, Vim stuff, any of that on my open source stuff and, and a web socket protocol, right? And so for them, like if this is the, if this is the result, this is crazy, I think I might even have a partial implementation of HTTP2 out in public, out in public source. This is just wild. This is just wildly inaccurate. This is wildly inaccurate, and writing this is nothing. Charlie, Charlie, this is a shame. 10 hours ago, a shame. Yo, yo, this, this AI stuff, this AI stuff got to cool down, man. Like, I'm all for good AI tools, okay? I think AI on the CLI could be, it very well could be something pretty interesting. I'm curious about it. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Copilot on the CLI could be really good. I might just be able to use, I might just be able to use FFmpeg. I might just be able to do it. Um, Copilot itself, again, I'm still really skeptical of it. I've had it off now for a little bit. I'm happy I actually have it off. I'm going to re-enable it again. I'm going to go back and forth. I think ChatGPT as a method for explaining new concepts and stuff could very well be a very powerful way to learn. I do think this idea of AI-assisted learning is actually a really cool concept, but it has to be accurate. But this idea of AI-assisted assessments is nuts. It's off. It's way off because the problem comes to – I mean the problem with any of the AI stuff comes down to the white problem, which is – can you produce me an image that is pure white, pure black, pure yellow, pure anything, right? And the thing is, is that it can't. It struggles a whole bunch because when you say produce me an image of a crab, we think that AI is just effing magic or produce me a program that reads out a file and does a matplotlib X and Y. It is absolutely right. People are just like, oh, my goodness, this is absolutely incredible. But the reality is, is that there's many, many programs that fit that mold. And the reason why it's not incredible is because it's not doing something specific. It's just generalizing and it just happens to fit the problem space because when you ask it to produce a pure white image, it struggles because pure white is an exact answer. There's one answer, which is all, all Fs. You can't have anything else. And it struggles to do that because once you give it an exact thing to do, it's really hard for it to do correctly. And that's the big difference. That really sums it up. Yeah. And that's why I think people don't understand the difference uh, between this, which is give me an image of a crab. There's infinite crabs. Give me an exact thing. Struggles a ton. Because an exact thing is always different. The, like the absolutely no elephants example. I have not seen the absolutely no elephants example, but that's hilarious. Right? I'm not saying that LLMs are going to be bad or good in the future. I'm just saying that they're, they're very hard to get right. Because when you're looking for an exact answer, that's hard. That's really hard. The name is this was genuinely the worst tool I have ever seen. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. We really, 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 as, as, like, I rarely say as a whatever, whatever you call this amalgamation of programmers, hobbyists, enthusiasts, and uh, traditional learning people, whatever you call all of that put together. Whatever that is, we need to agree that using AI to filter is just going to be horribly bad. It's, it's not going to end well. It's going to be an absolute 100% disaster. And I also am an expert in Next.js again, based on what the AI have said, of course.